what is going on guys nameless here bringing you guys a brand new video and man the last couple of days have just been awesome and here's why warzone has announced that it has private matches going forward now what does this mean for call of duty what does what does this mean if you are a warzone fan well this can only be good in my opinion i've seen some polarizing opinions on social media We've seen some of the pro Warzone players or big streamers saying that private matches are going to take the fun away from Warzone. And, you know, while that could be true in some aspects, I think that you can have the best of both worlds. You can still have those, uh, you know, kill based, uh, kill race tournaments, and you could still have the private match tournaments. Um, I think the private match tournaments in Warzone will play out a lot better than they did in other battle royales i mean i'm thinking fortnite which has had tremendous success uh but the building and the craziness that ensued at the end of fortnite games i think warzone the way it's played naturally could be a bit better than that as there is no building there is less toxic things that can be used in warzone now there are still a lot but there's less than there is in fortnite and I think that in Warzone, we can see a higher level of play in private matches. Uh, I think that this is going to be incredible going forward. And I hope that Call of Duty has Call of Duty sanctioned tournaments that they run for Warzone. I think it would give a major opportunity to a lot of the people that have been competing. I think it would give a major opportunity to new players who are aspiring to be a big streamer and a bigger avenue for some of the unknown players that are talented to grow and succeed in their content creation career. Um, we're seeing some of these teams show interest in picking up Warzone players. We saw 100 Thieves with the first signed player in Tommy, a player who's been grinding from the game's beginning of its life cycle. He was a substitute pro player on the Empire, never got a chance to play, but he dedicated his grind to Warzone and his stream popped. It blew up. He's been frying in these tournaments. However, he still had that competitive aspect in him and he's been frying in all the tournaments that have been thrown at him. He's been playing every single one of them and he's number eight in the top player rankings and earnings at $54,000. So he's had a good year. He's had a good year. And to top off his 2020, he got picked up by 100 Thieves and he's going to be playing under them. And what better organization to play for than 100 Thieves? We know how much they take care of their players. And for Tommy, only great things are gonna happen in the future. And I don't expect him to be the last. I think some of these other organizations are gonna take note of what 100 Thieves is doing and they're gonna pick up some pro Warzone players. And also another good thing about this is other esports organizations that aren't in the CDL can now pick up a Warzone player and get their feet wet in Call of Duty. Now that is great news because we can have some of these bigger organizations like Cloud9, like TSM, etc. pick up some players and have their feet in Call of Duty, which can only bring more eyes to our game. Now I'm the optimist. I think obviously, you know, I'm from Call of Duty competitive, Call of Duty esports, and I think still having competitive Warzone can be good for Call of Duty esports. I know there's people out there who think that it's going to take the eyes away from Call of Duty Esports. No, I think there's a world where we can all be a cohesive unit and all work with each other. I think we can have some pro players who double as Warzone and pro players who play in Warzone tournaments, but still compete at the highest level, man. So I think that this is a fantastic opportunity for transitioning pro players who are not competing or get thrown out on the back burner who can go and compete in Warzone. So for me, this is only good news, man. I love this going forward. I hope Call of Duty has more actual tournaments i mean you look at fortnite let's use fortnite as an example this major game that just exploded with content creation and these tournaments that they had like friday fortnite that people absolutely loved and it developed into this actual major esport that has tournaments nearly every week and you know fortnite has had its ups and downs with updates and this and that however it still survived and there's still a major community on that game and i think warzone is headed in that direction that's how you keep a game alive for a long time and a lot of brs have tried and failed they've tried and failed but in call of duty i mean even as our esport we've tried and failed but we've survived and i think with warzone they're gonna have that same tenacity now i don't know any more than you guys do but i have a hunch we're seeing some of these organizations get into warzone i think they know more than we do i think there will be call of duty sanctioned tournaments and maybe even a pro circuit who knows but either way i think that this would be incredible and an incredible opportunity for everyone involved. So I'm going to start covering Warzone on my channel. When these tournaments happen, I'm going to start covering where people placed, uh, what they did throughout the tournament, and how it went. So if you guys do want to see more of that content, make sure you leave a like and a comment to let me know that this is something you want to see. I can do it simultaneously, and I think that it's a big opportunity for myself and also to enlighten some of the Call of Duty esports player or viewers on what's happening in Warzone because it is major, and we do have some pro players who are competing in there. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm excited for the future. Maybe you'll see me in some of these dang tournaments as well. Man. Much love and appreciation. I'll catch you guys in the